goodness. Oh, Jesus. Too much. Oh, did someone barf on your tail? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just sit down for a minute. Someone barfed on your tail, it looks like. Oops. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna check chat. Walt is gonna check chat too. And see if anyone has informed on any vomiting. Biara. Oh, you are so darling. Are you so darling? Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Daisy was sick. Maybe someone else. Much better than earlier. Okay, good. Daisy! Did Daisy vomit on her own tail? That's pretty... It's pretty embarrassing when you vomit on your own tail and then you have to go around with it. I know. Hopefully she's better. Um, okay, so while I do meds, I did get an update from the tech. The tech is so awesome. She's texting me updates and she sent pictures. Um, she said Cassidy ate and is happy and is now sleeping. Um, I sent her the video of him using the litter box for the first time. And um, she said that's a, it's a good sign that he at least can feel that he needs to go. Um, we still won't know anything till you know a good 12 hours, but um, at least you know he's stable and uh, he did eat on his own. They didn't even have to spoon feed him like I did. <laughs> So he, he probably, oh my goodness, <laughs> let go, let go. Oh, poor little mama. Gonna step in the meds though. Here, I've got meds for you, little, little pus bottom. Um, Flowers done. Hello. Um, he hasn't gone to the. He hasn't peed yet. Um. Hi there. Are you coming to get your meds? Mmm. Tasty meds. Uh, and, um, he is feline leukemia FIV negative, so that's excellent news, that's very good. Um, so, who else? Uh, I mean, he's definitely not out of the woods, but, um, He's at least he hasn't he he at least has gotten s slightly better it sounds like rather than um, any worse so thank goodness for that um, hello are you so why are you so cute 
Why are you biting me in the armpit? Mm. Okay. Where's the bluebell? Oh, this is a pudgy, a pudgy kitten. Oh, look at your little face. It's so food, food filled. All right. Hi there, little goat. They they did express his bladder. Uh, they did express his bladder um, when uh, he first arrived. His bladder was quite full. Um, Hello. So I I uh, I know that they are monitoring the situation. So that's good. Um, and he did survive for nine weeks. So. He must have figured out some way to pee. Uh, they did say that sometimes the bladder can be full and just like the overflow will come out, but it will remain full. So we'll see. We'll see. Nothing to do now but just wait and hope. Um, the well. So when when I um, went downstairs. Um, and I was kind of, you know, he was, he was definitely more subdued today, uh, but, oh, hi, but, um, I checked his legs, I actually was giving him a bath, and I noticed that his, his stumps were, um, squishy, and they felt like they were full of fluid, and they... They were squishy yesterday, but they didn't feel as full. Um, and so I think just the infection must have just gotten to a, a level that was starting to become too much for him. Um, I His temperature being normal both the last two mornings is a little bit perplexing. I don't know if it's because he wasn't strong, his body wasn't strong enough to mount a defense or what. Um, so we'll have to just wait and see. They're, do, they're running tests and um, I will be picking him up in the morning and then taking him directly to Mountain View and they can continue um, and then they'll continue treatment and we'll kind of assess at that point. <clears throat> I don't think I don't think they're gonna do. Uh, actually, I think they are doing. I think I did see X-rays on the list of things that they were potentially gonna do um, tonight. So, um, hello. But they certainly thought that it was a congenital issue. Um, I. Yeah, so, and I don't know, I guess, I guess if it's congenital and it, if both stumps were quite infected, so, um, I don't know how they would, one was kind of calloused, but the other one was all furred over, so, I don't know how they would both be infected, unless there was some sort of trauma at some point, but certainly that could have happened if he was walking on them at one point. It's hard to know. No sense in speculating. Till we have more information. So, so they are running a CBC and a blood panel. Um, they did the feline leukemia test already, which they can do quickly. Um, I don't know if they do the other tests in house. I'm assuming they must because I don't know. I should actually ask about that. Oh, and I forgot to ask what time I need to pick him up. Um, okay, and Topper is at my house. Um, I didn't want to leave him here by himself. With no one but the wall rodent for company. So he's at my house. He's doing fine. He's gotten some snuggles. Hello. But I can check on him easier that way. He's actually, um being quite snuggly so I think he's a little bit lonely um, I'm hoping it won't have to be for too long but um, I don't know I don't know so we'll see I'm feeling a little bit better but um, 
he's definitely not out of the woods. Um, because if the infection, if he's had an infection for quite some time, and if it's spread other places, it could be, you know, it could be difficult for him. Um, and so, I just have to wait and see. How many kittens do you think I have in my lap right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have at least six kittens. I, there may be another one under here. <laughs> but I can't tell. Six kittens. Half of the kittens. Kitten therapy. So you've had your meds. <laughs> oh, look at the pounce that's about to happen. Oh, that wasn't very good. There's a lot of fanfare. Oh, so... Never a dull moment over here. right now. You know who you remind me of? You remind me of the Eep. Eep, look, this is what you do all the time. You get excited and then you start pouncing on everyone. See? See? You just did it there. Get get that owl. Go get her. Oh no! <laughs> oh, and then everyone's belching. So we have to get new antibiotics tomorrow for this crew. Where's my little pus bottom? I need to check the... Oh, there you are. You're on the bottom of the pile. You're biting everyone. Let me check your bum. Mm. Still has pus. They certainly are not acting like they don't feel good. You need your face cleaned. Oh my goodness, look at your little face. Did you have a little, you didn't feel so good earlier? Mm hmm. Probably shouldn't hold you upside down like that if you didn't feel so good. Oh, and you've got a barf tail. You better clean that up too. Mmm. Watch out. <sighs> Mr. T's lesion is starting to have some hair regrowth, which is usually a sign that it's toward the end. So we're going to do another test, um, maybe this week, maybe the end of this week or so. Which would be good. Oh, we're going. <laughs> I have to get up and get some gauze and stuff. I have to get some stuff to clean with. Where are you going? Oh, you're too cute. <laughs> Pouncer. Oh, Pouncer. You are just the cutest little Pouncer. 
Just a little pouncer. Hi, Walter. Oh. She's going in. We need to move the castle closer. Bootsy. What are you doing over here, Bootsy? Oh. What? Are you sleepy? Ooh, what was that? Are you feeling better? Oh, so sweet. So sweet. You are so adorable too, huh? Mm. So cute. Oh, she's cute even when she's biting. Alright. Oh, you're so handsome. Look at this little bootsy. <laughs> Tigress is being such a delight. Oh, did someone get stepped on? Did you get stepped on? Oh my goodness. <laughs> castle's on the move. EP thinks she's driving driving the castle. Look how cute she is. Keep it, keep it. You did that all by yourself. Alright. I'll be back with the team and and I think I'm just going to rinse your tail real quick, so don't panic. But nobody wants a bark tail. I don't think I can get it clean. have a clean tail. Antibiotics way. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to prop this.
Hi, I know this is super like a big challenge. There, how's that? I think I need to keep it now. Goat, let go, little goat. Oh, little goat. Uh, is that too high? I think that might be slightly too high. That's probably pretty good. Now, let's just see. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I'm gonna. Now and distract. Look, I've got just the thing. Kittens, come this way. Oh, help. <laughs> Look, little goat. Oh no, it ran. Oh, I think it ran into some poop. Here, let me take this. Like. <sighs> That's very fun. black kittens you go over here I'm just trying to clear a space to sit down hi mr. Hiccups. <laughs> oh goodness all right <laughs> so fast Bell is trying to sleep. Oh my goodness. Okay, where is the baby? There she is. <laughs> Get it. Why oh, doesn't go on? I feel like I can see with the elbow you. Alright. Oh, Daisy. Please report to me. Ready? I have to get the Daisy. Alright. Alright. Let's see. How's your face? Tiger 
face is wound up. She's all puffy and Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hot little goat, thank you. I don't think Stacy wants you to step on her face while she gets her face washed. little goat little goat her face is looking much better Did I tickle your nose? There. All right, little Daisy, you can go. Where's the, where did the garbage go? There it is. You are free to go. What are you two doing? Oh, it's a little wound up baby. She's still wound up. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's do some cleaning of little pus bottom over there. Oh, okay. Oh, you are so cute. Being puffy. Oh, who's biting? <laughs> mm. What's this? to attack your sister when she's getting her pus cleaned. Pus, pus, pus. There. No fair biting the flower when she's getting cleaned. She's gonna get ya. Alright, little Daisy. <sighs> you were just in the litter box, weren't you? Oh. <laughs> it's hilarious when, so Tigress is biting Hiccup. Hiccup is squealing and thinks Bambi is biting him and so he goes after Bambi. No one's biting Tigress because she's smart. Let's just make sure that little Miss Bluebell. How are you today? Oh, you're so cute. Mm. <laughs> you're very cute. Oh, no. Me back here. Bootsy. 
Oh, Bootsy. We need to work on this, remember? Oh, yes. We're going to do a lot of getting picked up. Now, what are we looking at here? I guess this is pretty good. Ah! <laughs> oh! Hi, Hiccup. Oh, you're so cute. Who is attacking my foot? Mmm. You guys, we need to do some... Oh no! Poo foot! Someone has a poo foot. Oh, sorry! kittens. One, two, three. Three kittens in my lap and three coming in. Oh, and one sliding off. <laughs> oh, little Eeper, you are just so cute. Oh, so cute. Too cute. Oh, are you biting me? Does owl make it come? No, wait. Your owl. This must be flower. What are you doing? What is this? How is this that you're sitting like Cassidy sits? <laughs> oh. up close up on VIP cam right now. Oh, he's biting me. Ow, he's biting me. That was too hard. Too hard. So now we'll do instead, we will do a flower close up. 
Oh no, just the belly. There's a flower. She wants to go play. <laughs> Do you bit me too hard? You need to learn about when you bite too hard that you don't get, we don't encourage that. Here's a Bootsy close up. <laughs> Round up. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> You're oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Is it? Mm. Oh, <laughs> do you see that tackle? That's amazing because you know that Bootsy has a low center of gravity. Hi, little mama. Hi, you're too cute. Oh, you are so cute. No, that's how we get worms. Oh, there we go. Swarm. You're such a good mama. You're so good. Oh, no. Oh, little mama. Go to your happy place. Actually, I think this is your happy place. For now, but your happy place is going to be different once all these babies go. You're going to have an even better happy place where you will have no responsibilities except to just have fun and be adorable. Look at that pile of kittens. It's a big pile. Oh, I'm going to put out more food. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't mean to that. Oh, honey. Can you teach you? Come here. Oh, so cute. Okay. I mean, oh, did you pee? Water. It's probably water actually. I'm gonna wake up and grab this. Then Hi, Mr. Hiccup. I brought you a snack. I brought you big boy food. You're a big boy. Big boy food here. You were looking for this earlier. There you go. How many more? How about this one really like? Oh, you're stuck. This one really likes squishy food. All right, we're down to eight at the milk bar. That's okay. That's manageable.
mini of this little goat. Here you go. All right, there we go. Seven at the milk bar. One sleeping, four at the smooshy food bar. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Even when you're a super mama. Where are you going, little tigress? Oh, a little tiger. There you go. Mm. Okay, everybody. Um, I'm gonna go. I will uh, keep you posted. So tomorrow morning, I will come in quickly to do meds. And then I will go and pick up Cassidy uh, and take him to Mountain View. I need to find out what time I have to do that. And then um, <sighs> then we'll figure out where to go from there. So, I will keep you posted uh, if there are any updates throughout the night. Um, not sure where I will keep you posted. I will figure it out though. I don't think there, I'm not expecting any major updates throughout the night. Um, I don't think he'll like miraculously fine and I don't think it sounds like he's at least um hanging in there so I'm hoping that he'll feel better by morning but we'll see so I will keep you posted oh but negative feeling the leukemia is great and Negative FIV is great. Your face is all very again, isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna wipe her face then. One more face wipe for you, little Missy. Oh yes. Oh yes. You're so much better at being picked up than Boozy. Aren't you? You're very special. <sighs> Your tail's very close to you. Oh yes. Look dirty. <laughs> I just cleaned you. You're so clean. I guess I should have waited until I offered snack time. There. That's better. Now, nobody do any barfing. Everybody stay clean.
so cute. Thank you. 